I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about a brain-boosting diet, foods you need for memory and mood. We'll cover the 11 essential nutrients we must get from food and the foods that contain them. Getting all the nutrients your brain requires every day doesn't have to be complicated. If you simply keep in mind a few specific ingredients, eating meals full of nutrient-dense foods can be simple. Every day our body and brain require essential and non-essential nutrients. Essential means it must come from our diet, and non-essential means our body and brain make these nutrients internally and as needed. So in this video, you'll find out which essential nutrients are part of a brain-boosting diet that you must get every day for a healthy brain, and some of the foods that provide these nutrients. For millennia, our human ancestors were getting all the nutrition they needed from what they gathered, grew, or captured long before we invented dietary supplements and nootropics. The following 11 central nutrients were the same for your ancient ancestors as they are for you today. And the foods that they got them from are the same foods you can now find in your local supermarket. But if the foods are the same, why do we need to take dietary supplements and nootropics for optimal health? We'll touch on that at the end of this video. Carbohydrates. Your brain needs an adequate, steady supply and it uses two main fuels, glucose or ketones, both of which can cross the blood-brain barrier. If you eat a diet moderate to high in carbohydrates, your brain's main energy source is glucose. If you maintain a low-carb diet or ketogenic diet, your brain's main energy source is ketones. Research estimates your brain requires 110 to 145 grams of glucose from carbohydrates per day. Complex carbohydrates take longer to break down, which can make you feel fuller longer and keep blood sugar levels irregular. Examples of complex carbohydrates, which can be included in all three daily meals, include oatmeal, the old-fashioned or steel-cut kind, yams, brown rice, white potatoes with skin, 100% whole wheat bread, 100% whole wheat pasta, beans and lentils, pumpkin, butternut squash, and beets. Calcium. Over 99% of your body's calcium is found in bones and teeth. Calcium is also involved in muscle contractions, nerve function, and bodily blood movement. In your brain, calcium regulates neurotransmitter synthesis and release, neuronal excitability, and is involved in long-term potentiation for long-term memory formation. Sources of calcium, which can be included in all three daily meals, include dairy products, leafy greens, white beans, sardines, and salmon. Fat. Fat is an essential nutrient because it provides energy, boosts absorption of some vitamins, and helps protect against organ damage. Unsaturated fats are ideal because they also help protect your heart. Trans fats found in processed foods and baked goods must be avoided because it significantly increases heart disease. Healthy sources of unsaturated fats that can be included in all three daily meals include nuts, coconut, almond, sunflower, sesame, ghee, avocados, salmon, olive oil, flaxseed, and nut butters. Minerals. Like vitamins, minerals are critical for your body and brain to function optimally. Your body requires daily supplies of boron, calcium, chromium, copper, uh, iodine, iron, manganese, uh, molybdenum, <laughs> phosphorus, potassium, selenium, and zinc. Each of these minerals plays a part in neurotransmitter and hormone synthesis, protects against free radicals, acts as an antioxidant, boosts ATP production and synapse creation, myelin synthesis and RNA and DNA synthesis. Good sources of minerals from food that should, can be included in all three daily meals include cheese, milk, yogurt, salt, spinach and other dark leafy greens, 
broccoli, tofu, dark chocolate, and cocoa powder, dried fruits, salmon, legumes and beans, seeds, 100% whole wheat bread, shellfish and seafood, nuts, teas, whole grains, mushrooms, beef, lamb, and pork, chicken and turkey, and bananas. Omega-3 fatty acids are a type of polyunsaturated fat that are considered an essential fatty acid, meaning our body cannot make it and we need to get it from food. Omega-3s are made up of DHA and EPA. Your brain is composed of 60% fat, and 15-20% to 20 of your cerebral cortex is DHA. Even the retina in your eyes is 30-60% DHA making DHA the most essential nutrient for eye and brain health. Now ideally, you should get at least 1500 milligrams of omega-3s per day, which means two to three servings of fish per week, or a high quality omega-3 supplement that contains a minimum of 1000 milligrams of DHA daily for optimal brain health. Omega-3s from sources other than seafood do not supply enough fatty acids. Sources of omega-3s available from food that can be included in free daily meals include salmon, mackerel, sardines, chia seeds, flax seeds, and walnuts. Potassium. Potassium is an essential mineral for life and the most abundant cation or positive charged ion in your body. The sodium potassium pump is necessary for action potentials within neurons. And when you have a deficiency of potassium, the result is brain fog, fatigue, and depression. You can get potassium you need by including the following foods in at least one or two of your three daily meals. Spinach, dried apricots, dates, dark leafy vegetables, mushrooms, po tomatoes, potatoes, avocados, salmon, sweet potatoes, and bananas. And protein. Proteins are needed to form muscle and provide the amino acids for synthesis of neurotransmitters, as well as other enzymes and hormones you need for optimal health. Nine out of a total of 20 types of amino acids are considered essential, which include histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. Food from animal proteins provide the amino acids our body and brain need every day. Plant-based proteins typically lack some of these essential amino acids. Sources of protein to provide the amino acids we need are found in these foods which should be included in three daily meals beef, chicken, and bone broth, lentils, kidney bean, beans, chickpeas, black beans, oats, wheat, and amaranth, wild salmon, catfish, carp, uh, trout, bass, drum, tuna, anchovies, sardines, snapper, cod, mackerel, and herring, nuts, including cashews, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, and peanuts, and seeds, including flax, sesame, chia, sunflower, coconut, natto, eggs, and yogurt, curd, paneer, and goat cheese. Sodium. Sodium is critical for fluid balance, blood volume, and for your nerves and muscles. In your brain, sodium atoms control which canine receptors get turned on and off. This, this sodium switch is unique to these receptors. The malfunction of canine receptors is implicated in epilepsy and neuropathic pain. But too much sodium, which is the main component in table salt, increases levels of pro-inflammatory interleukin-17, which leads to brain blood vessel dysfunction affecting cerebral circulation, and it results in cognitive decline. Sodium from processed foods, salty snacks, and canned meats should be kept to a minimum. Sodium is found naturally in many foods, including seeds, nuts, vegetables, meats, grains, and legumes. Vitamins. 
Vitamins are a group of organic compounds essential for human life, but are not synthesized in your body. So you need to get an adequate amount of all 13 vitamins from your diet or as a supplement. We require four fat-soluble vitamin A, D, E, and K, and nine water-soluble vitamins, which include vitamin C and uh, the eight B vitamins, including uh, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, and B12. Although most vitamins in your diet are derived from plants, you often get them from higher up in the food chain, including meat, dairy, and eggs. Now the best way to get all of these vitamins is to eat a healthy and balanced diet with plenty of fruits and vegetables with each of your three daily meals. Now for more on vitamins and your brain, please go to Nootropics Expert and see my post on 13 vitamins essential for the optimized brain. And I'll include a link below this video. Vitamin D, also known as a sunshine vitamin. Vitamin D3 is necessary for the absorption of calcium for good bone health. And vitamin D strengthens your immune system and influences muscle function. In your brain, vitamin D is involved in the synthesis of GABA, glutamate, glutamine, and serotonin. It protects against DNA damage through prevention of telomere shortening and inhibition of telomerase activity and prevents oxidative damage to DNA. And vitamin D3 is involved in neuromodulation, regulation of neurotrophic factors, neuroprotection, neuroplasticity, and brain development all in areas of the brain associated with depression. If you have dark skin, are obese, get limited sun exposure because you use sunscreen, wear excessive clothing, or you don't go outdoors much, you are at a greater risk for vitamin D3 deficiency. You can also get some vitamin D3 in your three daily meals from mushrooms like shiitake, egg yolks, beef liver, and fish including salmon, mackerel, sardines, and cod liver oil. But if you don't get enough sun exposure or eat plenty of the above foods, you should get, you should supplement with vitamin D3. Water. You can do without food for quite a while, but only a few days without water. It makes up about 75% of your body weight in infants and 55% in the elderly and your brain is 80% water. Water plays a critical role in waste removal from your body, digestion, temperature regulation, and makes up a core component of every cell in your body. Dehydration results in symptoms such as dry skin, dizziness, fatigue, rapid heartbeat, and if left untreated, in death. Even mild dehydration can impair cognitive performance and mood. One British study showed that students who took water to the examination hall scored an average of 5% higher exam scores than those who didn't take water. Another cross-sectional study with a total of 3,327 Iranian adults showed that drinking plain water decreased anxiety and depression. And yet another analysis of 33 clinical studies showed that even mild dehydration impairs cognitive performance, attention, and executive function. No country has managed to develop a recommended daily allowance for water, but we need water throughout our day, and the purer the source, the better. The United States Department of Agriculture, the USDA, frequently releases a nutrition facts spreadsheet detailing vitamin, mineral, and fat content for thousands of foods. And I've, in the original transcript of this video, I've got a link to the latest, uh, which is 2016, the USDA Simplified Nutrition Facts Spreadsheet. You can click through to the spreadsheet and see it. If you compare that document with the same information from 50 years ago, you'll come to a very scary realization. Our ancestors ate wild foods with dramatically higher levels of all essential fats, minerals, amino acids, and vitamins. 
and because of industrial farming techniques, depleted soil and poor air quality, our food today has significantly fewer nutrients, and processed food has even less. The World Health Organization has estimated that more than 2 billion people worldwide experience deficiencies in the intake of essential vitamins and nutrients. And in the USA, the Department of Health and Human Services in Agriculture has found that the general population is deficient in vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D3, vitamin E, choline, calcium, magnesium, iron, and potassium. Now, of course, you've seen the headlines procla proclaiming dietary supplements are useless and even worse could be harmful. But look, looking at the backers, behind these statements and you'll soon find that big pharmaceutical companies and others who are making a living on keeping us sick. Big money often drowns out the voice of reason. But if you listen closely, you'll find more and more open-minded health professionals saying you must eat a healthy diet, but you must also take supplements to maintain optimal health. You simply cannot get all the nutrients you require from food no matter how good your diet. Now, for more on why we need uh, to supplement for optimal health, go to Nootropics Expert and see my post on Nootropic Foods, the effects of nutrients on brain function. And for my review on the best whole food multivitamin and mineral supplement on the market today, the one that I use, the Performance Lab Whole Food Multi for men or women. So that's my report on brain, a brain-boosting diet. For a full transcript of this video, including the foods I talked about, go to NootropicsExpert.com and search for Brain Boosting Diet, or click on the link below this video. You'll also find dozens of articles and all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using food for memory and mood, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post over on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain and get a copy of my book Head First. And if you think you could use a little more help with your nootropic stack or issues you're dealing with today, book a personal consultation with me. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.